Hey, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a brand new Let's Play Get Famous. Alrighty, so before we start our little introduction of The Sims and our new Let's Play, I want to give a few announcements and disclaimers. So first and foremost, I want to introduce myself to anybody who is new to my channel. Hi, my name is Carissa. You can call me Kari, and I am a Sims variety channel. I like to play The Sims 4, Sims 2, occasionally The Sims 3. Don't have good luck with The Sims 3. I like to do speed builds, reviews, lots of Sim stuff. Love The Sims here on this channel. So if you're new, check it out. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, you know, if you want. Also, I want to say thank you guys so much for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. That's insane. I appreciate y'all so, so, so much. And second little disclaimer here, I want to apologize that this LP is late. I was originally planning on uploading it on Friday and spamming y'all all weekend with Get Famous videos, but unfortunately I didn't have early access so it would have required an all-nighter and then things came up. I had to go out of town so it was just not possible. So here we are a few days late, but hopefully it's okay. Hope you guys really enjoy these Sims and their backstories. I worked really hard to, you know, create their backstories and make them relatable. That's very, very important to me in my Let's Plays. And second or I guess this would be a you know, second disclaimer maybe okay I'm, I'm a little sick I'm a little under the weather so if you hear me like sniffling or anything into the mic at any point I'm really sorry I'm gonna try not to but I don't feel good so yeah just putting that out there I'm sorry if I do and number three last but not least I want to go ahead and make a little announcement on the get famous giveaway um, a lot of you have been asking if I've announced the winner I did not announce the winner I didn't put up like an announcement video or anything like that. I contacted the winner and it's my girl Elise, Alicia, 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 I'm not sure you how, how you say her name, but she did win the giveaway. I've already contacted her. She has received her code. So the giveaway is now closed, but I do want you guys to follow me on Twitter because in a week or two, I will be doing another giveaway. It's not going to be on YouTube though, because you know, I got to space my giveaways out on YouTube where I'll get in trouble. So check me out on Twitter and stay tuned. I got to wait until, you know, I get get some money so I can give away another Get Famous expansion. I want to do that because it's a new pack and because y'all helped me reach 1,000 subscribers. So yeah, go ahead and stay tuned and we'll have another giveaway shortly. But yeah, so without further ado, I want to go ahead and introduce you to our Sims for this Let's Play. If you are not interested in listening to me tell their backstory, I will put a little description down below if you want to skip forward I will put where the actual let's play or this part starts and you can just read that and skip forward but I worked really hard on these sims and their backstories and I really like to story tell for those of you who are new to my channel I like to make my sims relatable and I believe that sims and storytelling is like a creative outlet and it can really really relate to people so yeah Without further ado, here is our Sims for this Let's Play that we are going to be focusing on. If you actually watch my current household video a week or so ago, I introduced Miss Taylor Montoya to you and told you this was the Sim that I have been working on, getting her ready for the Get Famous LP. And I was actually planning on just focusing on her, but I decided to focus on other areas of the game because it comes with so much content that I actually created her a roommate. But real quick, let me introduce you to Taylor Montoya. So Taylor Montoya is going to be our actress that we are going to be focusing on. So Taylor is something else. I absolutely adore her. I have been playing her and like grooming her for this moment and her little star moment in this LP and a little bit about her and the reason why I love her so so much is because she has very humble beginnings. Okay she's a nobody so we're gonna start from the bottom with her in the acting career and see what it's like to you know rise through that ranking as a celebrity but Taylor struggled really really bad growing up she came from a very poor household a single mother raised her her mother's name is Sonia who she is very very close with her dad left her and her sister when they were really young he ended up going to prison so they never got a chance to really know their father he was never around in the first place their mom is the best mom ever but she worked a lot of hours because she had to to keep food on the table and to keep the power on so Taylor grew up 
pretty much in poverty and she watched her mom really struggle and she always said you know what that's not going to be me and from the time she was a little bitty kid she would always you know tell her mom I'm going to be famous one day I'm going to be famous I'm going to be an actor I'm going to be an actress I'm going to be a singer she just had these high ambitions and these goals and these dreams that really inspired her mom you know that just because she came from nothing she didn't let that stop her so I really like that about her and you know from a young age she just always you know put on little plays for her mom she sang on the coffee table when she grew up into a teenager she really started planning to make her move to Del Sol Valley and make her dreams a reality so she would always work on her skills she would work on you know her singing her charisma she would take acting classes in high school just stuff that she knew would help her make her dreams a reality and on top of that she was also helping her mom raise her younger sister Reagan who Reagan will be a teenager shortly so I'm sure we will be seeing her visit us a lot uh, she also worked a part-time job because obviously her mom needed a lot of help with money so aside from you know keeping her grades up and raising her little sisters she also worked a part-time job and the money that she got paid first part already was giving it to her mom to make sure they had food on the table and to make sure their bills were paid. Everything left over was put into savings for Taylor to move to Del Sol Valley to make it big one day like she had always dreamed of doing. Now Taylor has two friends that I'm sure we will see and I am playing a little Cincy save file so if you are familiar with her save file I'm sure you're familiar with these two sims. Her best friend's name is Kat Fields and then she's also really good friends with Bryce Taylor. Now her and Bryce Taylor do have a romantic relationship. I never cooled that down. I never called it off. They were never officially boyfriend and girlfriend or anything like that. But um, they were, you know, they have um, woohooed. <laughs> she did lose her virginity to him. And, you know, if she didn't have these big dreams, I think that she would have settled down with Bryce, really and truly. But she had these big dreams and she wasn't going to let a boy, you know, stop her. And so she kind of just never fully committed to him and yeah so we'll see where that goes I don't know if you know they'll lose contact the things will continue we'll have to see but yeah that's a little bit about Taylor and as you can see her style is really unique I really wanted to give these two sims a very uh, stylish personality persona like I don't, I don't know but they have two different styles so Taylor actually has naturally dark black hair um, but before she moved to Del Sol Valley after graduation she dyed her hair this gray color because it's very in and not a lot of people can pull it off right and so she knows she's coming from nothing she's really got to take risks she wants to stand out so she went ahead dyed her hair and the fashion sense that she has you know worked for is very trendy very stylish you know kind of like thrifty at the same time and yeah I, I love her style I think it makes her stand out and I think it's going to take her far her personality the fact that she takes risk and she stands out I really do think it's going to take Taylor far so I'm really excited to see how far we get with her so when Taylor graduated and was ready to move to Del Sol Valley, she realized that the money she had saved was not nearly enough to get her a place to live, you know? Oh. Obviously, realistically, if you look at LA, which is what Del Sol, Del Sol Valley is based off of, the houses are very expensive, even in like the Mirage Park type areas because of the location. The houses are still half a million dollars. And so she realized very quickly that she could not do this on her own. She's a nobody. She really just kind of getting her foot in so she started looking for you know a roommate and that is how she met miss ellie blake so this is her roommate ellie blake ah, i love ellie blake i think this was like the best decision i ever could have made making her a roommate creating her a roommate and then focusing on her as well i really wanted to focus on the youtuber type career you could take also you know the stylist the fashion influencer career I really wanted to focus on that too so Ellie Blake is a youtuber and she is also a stylist she's in the style influencer career I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to juggle the two of them um, but we will see we'll see <laughs> I think YouTube's just something that kind of got her where she is and she's working on it part-time but Ellie Blake is actually a rising star so while Taylor is a nobody Ellie Blake is kind of well known. So Ellie Blake looks like absolute perfection, right? She's absolutely stunning, but 
She's not as pretty picture perfect as you would think. She has a lot of, you know, secrets, a lot of skeletons in her closet, a lot of scars, a lot of insecurity, which I think makes her very relatable. So Ellie Blake's mother and father is Blair and Neil Wakefield. Now, Blair Wakefield is a huge politician in Sam as you know. She's got a really bad reputation. She just kind of climbs all over people to get to the top. And then her dad is a huge business mogul. He's a huge investor. So she comes from a lot of money. Um, and, you know, from the outside looking in, it looks like they have the perfect little family, you know, just perfection. But what the outside world doesn't know is that Ellie actually comes from a very broken home. It's a little bit different than Taylor's situation, which I think is going to draw them close together in a really close-knit friendship because they do have so much in common. Different circumstances, but kind of the same situation, if that makes sense. So, Taylor's parents, or not Taylor, I'm sorry, Ellie Blake's <laughs> parents actually hate each other. They pretend they love each other. They put on this, you know, little show for the press because it would be really, really bad for both of their reputations if the world found out that they hated each other and they actually cheat on each other. They fool around with so many different sins that's unreal. So, Ellie is the only child, and growing up, she got to witness that. She witnessed her parents fighting all the time, bringing home different, you know, people and sleeping around, and it was very confusing to her. And they was also so career-oriented and driven that they didn't really pay her any attention. And she was always pressured to be perfect and look perfect. And it was really hard for her. It caused her to, you know, be very insecure to have, like, these self-worth images. And she was always fighting for their attention. She actually got anorexic she got an eating disorder and she's actually overcome that which I'm really proud of her but she still struggles with like her self-image and you know her self-worth and everything and she kind of closes herself off to love and possibilities of love because she's got such a tainted and messed up perception of love because of her parents and it's really really sad so I think it you know interesting to see her on the outside looking so picture perfect and put together but on the inside she's got a story to tell and she's you know got a lot of scars you can't always judge a book by its cover but YouTube was her outlet as a teenager. She actually started a YouTube channel where she did style, she did makeup, she did reviews, just pretty much everything. And that kind of got her where she is. So she is a rising star. She has a few followers. She makes these YouTube videos. And so obviously when she graduated, she was like, yeah, I'm out of San Marcino. I'm away from my parents. That's why she actually goes by Ellie Blake instead of Ellie Blake Wakefield. So... Ellie Blake, Blake is her middle name, Wakefield is her last name, but she doesn't want to be associated with her parents, so she goes by Ellie Blake. <clears throat> so I will refer to her as Ellie Blake and not Ellie. That's just her little oh. trademark or whatever. But yeah, so I really, really like Ellie. I think she's going to add a lot of... Um, emotions to our LP. I definitely see her journey being different than Taylor's because she's kind of starting out a foot ahead of her, but she also has these struggles and we're going to see her grow as a sim, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, she is in the style influencer career too, so we will be, you know, playing around with that. Her style and her fashion is a lot different than Taylor's. She's more preppy and posh and, you know, those girls who always has on the heels, they always have their makeup on and their hair done and they're just like killing it. I've always been jealous of these girls because that's not me. I'm too lazy for all of that. But that is Ellie Blake, and I love it. So, you know, her fashion sense is, you know, inspiring. Everybody wants to look like her and dress like her. And so she really wants to keep that good reputation. She doesn't want to be anything like her parents. She also has a best friend named Jay Lopez. He is a rising comedian in Del Sol Valley. They actually both um, moved to Del Sol Valley at the same time. He actually is the nephew of Thorne and Octavia Moon. So he lives with them. He kind of already had a foot into this, you know, celebrity life. But he got started on YouTube as well. Now he has his own shows. He's a comedian. And yeah, so that was her first friend when she moved to Del Sol Valley. They've been, you know, really close ever since. And she definitely relies on him. And he knows all about her, all about her past. He's really the only person that she's ever opened up to. She also has a little dog named Sadie. I just figured, you know, because she was living by herself at one point. I figured she'd get a little lonely because she is an only child and everything. So I created little Sadie for her. So Sadie's like her little daughter and she absolutely adores her. But, you know, Ellie Blake realized even though she came from money, she doesn't want her parents' help. So she really 
needed a roommate to help keep up this rent in this California or Delta Valley, I'm sorry, based lifestyle that she's pursuing here. And she wanted to give, you know, a newcomer like herself, where she was once, a chance. And that's how she came across Haley. So that is our sim. Sorry, it's a lot of talking, a lot of introducing in the first part. But from here on out, I'm going to show you their house that they live in. And we're really just going to have a chill part. It is Winterfest, so I'm going to have some of Ellie Blake's friends and her parents come over so Taylor can meet them. And they just have like a real, you know, chill dinner for Winterfest. So this is their house. They do live in Mirage Park. Obviously, Ta um, not Taylor. <laughs> Ellie Blake does come from money, and she could have probably a big, fancy, rich house up there, like all the celebrities. But she really wanted to uh, do this on her own. So yeah, realistically, like I said, these houses are still very expensive because it's still the area that they are living in. And this house is so freaking nice. I did not build it. I filmed it on the gallery because of the weekend I had. I did not have any time to build them a house, but stay tuned. I do plan on doing some speed builds throughout the week on these lots and fooling around with like the terrain tools and everything. But yeah, shout out to whoever created this house. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, I really, really love it. I think it fits in with the surrounding neighborhood very nicely. But this is Ellie Blake's room right here. And this is her little YouTube area where she does all of her videos and everything. Here's her little tablet that came with the in style influencer career. We have their dining room right here and their living area, which they have the presents out and they're ready for Winterfest today. Here's the kitchen. Here's Ellie Blake. She's actually cooking up a ham dinner for everybody. And we have like their bathrooms, wash, um, Jesus, hello there, laundry and everything right here. And then this is Taylor's room. Um, not really sure why Blair's over. This is, a uh, Ellie Blake's mom, um, she was invited to our dinner, which starts in a few hours, but she decided to come over early, I guess. I don't know. I think she's a little jealous of her daughter starting off, you know, famous pretty much. And then out here, we have Taylor. I think she's just kind of reflecting on the fact that she made it. She's here. They have a pool out here, and this is like a little garage area. So yeah, this is their house. I'm really, really excited to see them grow in this little house. I do expect that, you know, in the future, they will both, you know, be on up there in their careers and hopefully, you know, be living the bougie life, which I'm super excited. I'm really proud of them. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, since I've done a lot of talking and a lot of introducing, uh -huh. we're still going to introduce you to some of, you know, Ellie Blake's friends and everything, but I think it's going to be very important for Taylor to kind of like meet them, you know, get some acquaintances around town and everything. So I'm going to let them get ready for their guests, and I will see y'all in just a sec. Alrighty, so it's like our Denny, Denny, our Denny party, our dinner party has started, and I was actually thinking about including Taylor's parents, her mom, not parents, she only has a mom, sorry, a parent and her little sister, and then of course Bryce and Kat, but she knew that Ellie had already planned this event, you know, with all of her friends and family, so she didn't want to intrude him that Ellie was like, no, invite them, she's like, no, what, no, you can meet them another time, Ellie also kind of, or not Ellie, oh my god, I'm getting them so confused, I apologize, give me a moment, I'm still getting used to them, uh, Taylor, you know, knew that she would be meeting some newcomers and some rising stars, so, right here, this is Blair Wakefield, this is obviously Ellie Blake's mom, and then this is her dad, Neil Wakefield, uh, they're proud of their daughter, but, like, also, it's kind of like, ooh, our daughter's going to be famous. They're kind of going to use her, if that makes sense. And then right here, we have their neighbor, Tobias. I think that's how you say Tobias. I think it's Tobias. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Let me check real quick because I know I don't want people coming at me like, you're not saying it right. Okay, so apparently it's Tobias, so I think I was right, but this is Tobias Lawrence, and he is their neighbor. He is a notable newcomer. He is in the... Or an aspiring actor, I guess you would say. Uh, he's actually pretty good friends with Ellie Blake, and so is his best friend. Where's his best friend right here? His name is Seth Carson. Um, he is also a notable newcomer, but he's actually in PR, so he kind of manages his best friend, which is really cool. He's going to be like a press agent for all these celebrities. So, yeah, they're already really good friends. They live in this house right here. Um, yeah, so I figured I would go ahead and invite them over so Taylor could kind of meet them. And then right here, we have the man, Jay Lopez. 
I freaking love him. This is Ellie Blake's absolute best friend. He's such a diva. He's so stylish, hilarious, a complete goofball, and everybody loves Jay. All right, so I'm going to have Taylee come over here and attempt introduction to Tobias and Seth and really, really, really freak out over Jay uh, because he is a rising star. So. I really didn't know that rising, not rising celebrities, my bad, notable newcomers, you would need to like attempt an introduction, but um, okay, are we doing that? Are we trying? I'm not really sure what's going on. Apparently, uh, we don't have a lot of room here, but hey, we're just going to be like, hi, my name. Oh, Taylor, calm down. Calm down, girl. He's like, hi, yeah. So, yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of Tobias and of Seth Carson. I think Tobias is very, very self-absorbed. He just kind of looks like a diva. Um, he's got big goals, which I think, yeah, him and Taylor might get along. They're both kind of, like, out there. Uh, and then Seth Carson, he just reminds me of such a sweet sim. I don't know. I've kinda, I kind of ship him and Ellie Blake, honestly. I think he would be very patient with her because, I don't know, she doesn't want to settle down. She, I mean, not that she's, like, a wild party girl. She's actually never had a serious relationship or anything like that. And I explained it's because of her parents. But anyways, um, what are you doing? She's over here like, wow, J. Lopez. I cannot believe it. So let's um, ask for an autograph. Um, I know this is kind of out there, and I'm here now, and I'm trying to put my foot in. But, wow, can I please get an autograph? I would really, really appreciate it. My sister absolutely loves you, and I would love to send it to her. Like, low-key, I'm keeping it for myself. I don't want to look like a freak, but, oh, my gosh, Taylor. <laughs> I don't know. I just I love her. Like she's she's just starting from the bottom, and so here she is getting her foot in with all these people. Um, can uh, we can't even like okay? Let's attempt introduction. I kind of want to get on like friendship level with these people. Is that not possible? I guess we could probably introduce ourselves to her parents as well, even though I mean they're not really relevant. We're not going to see a lot of them, but you know. Um, they, they are Ellie Blake's parents. Now, Ellie Blake, what are you doing? Come over here and socialize. I want you to come over here and, uh, thank your guests for coming. So, how's it going, Taylor? Is Jay giving you the time of day? It doesn't really look, it doesn't really look like it. Um, but I think we need to ask him for a selfie so we can upload it to our Instagram. You know, to let all of our friends from home know how it's going in Del Sol Valley. Can you believe it? I actually, first off, I'm roommate with Ellie Blake. Second off, um, hello, her best friend is Jay Lopez. I got to meet Jay Lopez. What is up, y'all? I'm, I'm doing big things. <laughs> um, I guess did it not work? Did he deny her? Did he deny her? Ask for selfie. Let's try again. <laughs> uh, but Jay's a really nice guy. I don't know why he would deny her. Yeah, okay. I think he's saying yes. Yeah, he has a pretty good reputation. He's not a mean dude. So I think she is asking him for a selfie. I don't know if they've taken one yet. Um, we're not cooking. That's not what we're doing. Okay, so Father Winter is here. Um, so I guess we kind of need to like friendly introduction or introduce ourselves to him um fight father winter for presents i did not know we could do that that's cool um but i guess we need to work on some of our winter fest stuff so yeah i hope you guys don't mind this i know we're not really exploring del sol valley or anything like that but i figured since my lp is kind of a little late that it's okay you've already seen all of that and we are going to have taylee in the next part kind of search for open auditions and kind of start you know her her climb up the little social ladder here but i just thought it'd be really important that we introduce all of our sims and kind of give you a little bit of a sneak peek on what could possibly happen that's why i really included seth and tobias because you know i mean we're not really going to be focusing on them a lot like we're not going to jump into their household but i think that you know they, they might have roles in these sims lives we don't know we'll see and then of course jay and uh, all of their friends and like i said we will have taylee's friends and parents you know come visit her but you know, today this is about, you know, Ellie and, you know, kind of her Ellie kind of helping Taylee get her foot in and, you know, meeting these Sims. So anyways, let's have Taylee compliment his appearance. Be like, you know what? I really like your hair. It's different. I like it. He's like, yeah, you know, you too. She's like, yeah, I mean, that's why I went with gray. He's like, yeah, it looks good on you. But it looks like he's a, 
maybe not interested. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but okay, I think we need to open presents with um. Let's open them with Ellie Blake. We'll just pretend like everybody is, is opening gifts with us. But I don't want to be here all day, so it's just gonna be Ellie Blake. <laughs> Who would give one wolf ill as wolf ill as a gift? Ellie isn't particularly happy about this. Okay. Um, oh, golly gee, Taylor received one life under a microscope. Okay, so Taylor liked hers. <laughs> Ellie Blade's kind of like, wow, must have been for my mom and dad. I mean, go figure. <laughs> they don't know me at all. But anyways, um, oh my gosh, Grand Mill? We, did we not do that? Call to Grand Mill? Okay, I guess we have to call to Grand Mill. Um, okay, we need to interact with Winter, Father Winter here, like share ideas with him, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this part up because I don't want it to be super long. I know it was a lot of talking, a lot of introducing you to a bunch of different sims. So hopefully you guys are still with me and y'all are excited about these sims. Like I said, I worked really hard on their backstories and trying to make them as relatable as possible. So I hope you guys are excited to see their journey. I am. I really want you guys to leave me your suggestions on what you've seen so far, what you think would make this LP interesting, like relationships you think should happen. Just let me know any tips or tricks. I would really, really appreciate it. And yeah, in the next part, which I will upload later today, we'll have two parts out today since I am a little bit behind. We are going to be focusing on Taylor a little bit and her acting and see what that is all about. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!